Hi, I'm Nathan Penny. 2020 has been a year where the agricultural sector has come into its own. Indeed, while many other sectors have struggled with the impact of COVID, agriculture has proved to be New Zealand's economic rock. Arguably, the drought earlier in the year has had more of an impact on agricultural production, particularly for the meat sector, although COVID has had an ongoing impact on some export prices. This year's star has undoubtedly been horticulture. Kiwi fruit grower returns are likely to set fresh record highs, as are um, kiwi fruit production levels. Also, the apple industry has had another good year, with fruit more generally benefiting from strong demand owing to its health benefit status. Taking out the silver medal has been dairy. The milk price is effectively ending the year where it started, and both us and Fonterra expect a milk price of around $7 for the season ahead. While on the production side, uh, a kind spring has meant that there's plenty of feed on hand and suggests that production will be up on last season. Taking out the bronze medal has been viticulture, with the sector cracking $2 billion in export receipts for the first time. Missing out on the medals has been the sheep, meat and beef sectors, with middle of the road prices for that sector, and they are well back on last season's record highs. The laggers this year have been venison and wool, and they, like many other more expensive items, have really struggled through COVID this year. Looking ahead to 2021, we expect a po largely positive year, particularly as um, COVID vaccines roll out and the global economy rebounds, but also as the Chinese economy remains strong. A few things to watch out for are uh, labour market shortages through our picking season this summer, um, political tensions around dealing with China, but also a strong New Zealand dollar may be an issue to watch for as well. But all up, we're expecting a good or largely positive year for 2021. So from me, it's Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.